We have Republicans trying to redefine rape. Trying to force women to undergo invasive ultrasounds. If you think that this election won't affect you and your life, think again. All right, that's a new TV ad from the group MoveOn.org featuring well-known actresses, as you saw, and targeting towards women voters. Now, absent from the first presidential debate was talk of women and women's issues. Will the president or Mitt Romney speak directly to women tonight? And what do women need to hear? Joining me now is Nancy Keenan, president of NARAL, Pro-Choice America. Uh, Nancy, thanks for being with us. You know, as mentioned, you know, women have been the president's firewall. Uh, Romney appears to have made some gains, according to one Gallup poll, which the Obama campaign is pushing back on right now. Our own polling showing that that lead is not so great, uh, that the president still leads with women in swing states. It's a key voting group, certainly for him, and uh, uh, Romney needs to make up ground on that, according to these polls. So when you look at that, why then didn't uh, th these issues of women's issues, why weren't they brought up uh, in the uh, earlier parts of the vice presidential debate, and it was not brought up at all in the first presidential debate? Well, whether or not it's brought up in a debate scenario, I think the important thing is that President Obama has stood for and defended a woman's right to, to choose. And Mitt Romney, quite honestly, is uh, has called for the overturning of Roe versus Wade. And uh, that is more extreme than George W. Bush. And so when we think about the possibility of a Supreme Court vacancy, one or two of them, it is critically critical who sits in the Oval Office and who could ultimately make that decision. Um, and, and the court having a real say whether or not Roe versus Wade is overturned. So you're fine if it's not brought up in tonight's uh, town hall meeting, uh, town hall debate, or the final presidential debate? Oh, I think it'll be brought up. But again, it, it'll be brought up in this debate so we can draw the contrast of who's protecting freedom and privacy, who does not. But I think the bigger th issue is that on the campaign trail, and as we are out there talking about this issue, there is only one candidate that is going to protect women's reproductive choice and their right to birth control, and that's Barack Obama. Uh, and so, so was, our job it, is to make sure that people, women particularly, understand the contrast. Okay, we did hear about abortion in last week's vice presidential debate towards the end of that. Let's Let's listen to that exchange. You want to ask basically why I'm pro-life? It's not simply because of my Catholic faith. That's a factor, of course. But it's also because of reason and science. Life begins at conception. That's the church's judgment. I accept it in my personal life. But I refuse to impose it on equally devout Christians and Muslims and Jews. And, uh, I just refuse to impose that on others, unlike my friend here, the, the congressman. All right, Ryan and Biden expressing their personal stories on this issue of abortion. If you hear similar responses tonight from the tops of the ticket, what do you think the reactions will be uh, from women who are following this issue so closely this time around? Well, I think women will be very clear that the only choice in this election is Barack Obama and Joe Biden. If you notice that uh, Ryan did not even mention women, as though they were not part of this equation, that's unconscionable. And again, I go back to the record, uh, President Obama's record. Uh, women understand very clearly that Mitt Romney is not to be trusted and that you can trust Barack Obama and Joe Biden when it comes to the issue of protecting reproductive choices, our freedom and our privacy. The, the contrast is stark, and mm -hmm. I think women are absolutely understand what's at stake in this election and will vote, uh, vote their uh, conscience and for Barack Obama. You know, Nancy, what is also at stake, uh, you know, the next president may have the power to change the direction of the Supreme Court and nominate one or, or more justices. Uh, Romney has said here he'd like to see Roe v. Wade overturned. Uh, when you Consider that. Is abortion one of those issues that's so personal to women it transcends party lines in the voting booth? Absolutely. And you're going to see that women, no matter what their party uh, that they are affiliated with, are going to vote for the individual that's going to protect, protect them. And that decision, that's between a woman, her family, and her doctor. And quite honestly, Mitt Romney has called for the overturning of Roe versus Wade, which is more extreme than George W. Bush. And so you can see how far right he has gone uh, in this cycle. And again, he can't be trusted. He cannot be trusted with our freedom, with our privacy, and allowing uh, women to make this decision themselves. Nancy Keenan, president of NARAL Pro-Choice America, thank you for your time today. And we'll bet. be right back. Up next for you, though.